Amy, what is our first main topic today? Our first topic comes to us from Car- uh, Gary Madigan. Hey, John and crew. Hope everything is good. A new article from uh, The Hollywood Reporter saying that the director of Anthony Mackie's Captain America 4 is Julius Ona, who directed... Is it Luce? Luce? Luce. Luce. There we go. Luce and the Cloverfield Paradox. I think this is an interesting choice for a new Cap movie, and I'm looking forward to it. What do you all think of the choice of director? Thanks, and BOTF. Well, actually, there's a couple of interesting things here, because, yes, we have a director. Yeah. Great. But the bigger story is, oh, this thing's actually moving forward now. Mm-hmm. Right. They're actually heading, because it was a while ago that Anthony Mackie mentioned that we're going to do a, a Cap movie, and we got excited about that. But then it's been radio silence. Yeah. It's like, are they really going to do it? Are they not? Is or, or was that just kind of alluding to, you know, a Falcon and Winter Soldier or Cap and the Winter Soldier season two or whatever? But no, it's a movie and they got themselves a director. This comes to us from the folks over at Screen Rant who write the following. The gears are starting to turn at Marvel Studios for Captain America 4 as Julius Ona has signed on to direct. The upcoming chapter of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is expected to continue the story of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, in which Anthony Mackie's Sam Wilson grappled with his internal conflict over whether to carry on the Captain America mantle, as Steve Rogers asked him to do so in Avengers Endgame. The final episode of the Disney Plus series would see Sam combine his Falcon suit with that of Captain America's design and wielded Steve's iconic vibranium shield. Okay, so we've got Ona coming on to direct. Two key things that he directed. One is loose. Mm-hmm which is a strong movie. It's it's a strong movie, lower budget, um, killer cast. Octavia Spencer's in there. Uh, uh, the guy who plays Abomination, uh, Tim, uh, Tim Roth. Roth. Tim Roth is in there playing Luce's dad. Powerful story that has you guessing all the way up to the end about what's really going on, all that kind of stuff. It's a strong, small movie. However, he also directed... Cloverfield Paradox, <laughs> which is, I, I feel comfortable saying, one of the worst films I've seen in the last 10 years. And it was so bad that Paramount had this Cloverfield movie coming out in theaters. Do you remember this? Oh, yeah. It was coming out in theaters. It's Super Bowl Sunday. And then Super Bowl <laughs> Sunday, they drop a trailer for it and announce, everybody's expecting it to come out in theater in a few weeks. Blah, blah. And at Super Bowl Sunday, they drop a trailer saying, uh, Cloverfield Paradox, now online on Netflix! And it's like, what? <laughs> so I was like, okay, that's not a good sign. And I went to watch, it's like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> that movie is terrible. Terrible movie. Now, it, it, listen, there are movies that are doomed from the get-go, regardless of what director comes in and does what. In Loose, he showed he can handle complex characters and a complex story. In Cloverfield Paradox... Couldn't really handle the bigger sci-fi, the, the the more imagination spreading stuff, whatever. Which one is the real Ona? I don't know, but we're going to find out because we're going to see Captain America 4. Now, if it wasn't for Luce, I'd be saying, oh my God, this is a disastrous hire. But Luce is there and it, it's very well done. So it's interesting. But again, to me, the bigger story is that Captain America is moving forward. Now, I don't know. Maybe you guys in live chat can help me out here. I haven't heard anything official about whether or not this is a theatrical movie or whether this is a Disney Plus movie. Because the reality is they kind of took Falcon and Winter Soldier to Disney Plus. Yeah. And can they now rebound off that? And I didn't love Falcon and Winter Soldier. I mean, I liked it about the same amount that I liked Loki. Again, I didn't love either of them. But can they bring it back to the big screen now? I mean, I, I you know me, I like theatrical releases much better. Um will Sebastian Stan be in this or will it strictly be Cap? I mean, I don't know. Look, I'm just kind of excited this thing's moving forward at all. Anyway, Amy, you hear about this. What do you think about the director choice and the very fact that it's moving forward at all? I mean, I'm excited to hear that it's moving forward, definitely. And I I think one thing that's interesting, just looking at, you know, his relatively short filmography, you're dealing with three things that are kind of in that thriller genre. So I feel like not only do we have a director, but suddenly we kind of have a genre in the way that Mm. most of the Marvel movies sort of are working in subgenres at this point. I feel right. like pretty across the board. So that was my big takeaway of like, okay, I feel like I have 
I don't know exactly where they're going with it, but to me that that feels like a really strong indicator of sort of what subgenre of film we're we're moving into. I hope it's a theatrical release. I could definitely see them dumping this on Disney Plus, though. I mean, it's probably theatrical. Yeah. It probably. Yeah. I'm just. I don't think I've heard anything official on this. Yeah. Rob, you hear about the the director choices moving forward? What's standing out to you here? Well, maybe Kevin Feige. You know, he's good at looking at talent that hasn't had the yes, chance he is. to step mm -hmm. up, and so I think maybe I I would trust in him in terms of his. For the most part, I think his directorial choices have been strong. Um, you know, The Cloverfield Paradox is a weird thing. It didn't even start out as that. It was a movie that was being made called The God Particle. Yes. And it was being made for a long time. Like, they did lots of reshoots on it and, and things like that. So I think it might have been a project that was kind of a mess from the beginning. Yeah. You know? And, and, and they hired a, a director. I mean, I didn't think it was badly made. I just thought it was bad. No, I mean, it's kind of like... The story was, it was the writing. In the it's like Zack Snyder's Sucker Punch. If you put that movie on and have it on mute, oh yeah, you'd think you're watching a pretty good movie until you turn the volume back on and start hearing things. But so, that probably yeah. means decent director, bad script. Maybe. Yeah. Although Zack Snyder did write, didn't he write Sucker Punch? Well. <laughs> By the way, I do have a baby doll hot toy figure. I don't know if I can uh, put it up without people looking at me going, what's that from? Oh, it's some sucker punch, dude. <laughs> well, it's a little weird for you to have it, isn't it? And I'm like, well, probably. But would you but hold the door I for I was her. just going to ask. I would hold the door for baby doll. Yes, I would. Um, All right, guys. That was an internal conversation Rob had with himself before he bought it. <laughs> <laughs> would I hold the door for this person? All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Captain America 4 now officially has a director. A 50-50 kind of split on how good that stuff is, but it is moving forward, and now he will be working with Kevin Feige. How do you guys feel about this? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, HelloFresh. Now, guys, you've heard us talk about HelloFresh before. Anne and I absolutely love using them. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. You can bust out the grill on a nice warm summer evening and make dinner from HelloFresh's cookout collection with recipes like Melty Monterey Jack burgers and others. HelloFresh has foolproof step-by-step -step recipes, which means a joyful cooking experience and a stress-free summer. Plus, HelloFresh cuts back on the time spent in the kitchen with easy, ready-made meals in around 30 minutes or less. You know, Ann and I are both working professionals, so coming together for dinner time can sometimes be a little bit of a circus, but we love using HelloFresh. We get the exact meal we want, we get easy-to-follow instructions to make it together, and we actually look forward to making dinner together. So guys, go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia16 and use the promo code Campia16 for up to 16 free meals and up to three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash Campia16. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit.